So I can start walking? Yep. Uh oh. What happened? Whether a friend recommended it to you or you picked it up on sale, you're playing Dead by Daylight for the first time. You decide to choose Survivor, because why not? You have no understanding of how the game works and you're getting killed every single time, but you're still enjoying yourself. Oh, dude, this game looks amazing. Oh. Ah, I'm sorry. Skill checks are so hard. What the heck? That's so hard. Ah. Oh, God. Get away from me. Am I, am I dead? So I, sh I should struggle to escape, right? I'm gonna be honest, this game is kind of fun. As you begin to understand the basics, you really start to get addicted. Completing generators, being chased, saving people. It creates a unique gameplay loop that you haven't experienced in the past, and you can't get enough of it. You start experimenting with different perks and add-on combinations, all of them being trash. And even though you're still dying pretty much every single game, you're really, really enjoying it. Alright, I, I think this build is pretty good. All these perks seem pretty useful. I bet we work on gens quicker, right? Like, it's probably better to do gens with other people. So, bitch. Oh god, what is he? Oh, oh god. Man, that's scary. Oh, like we see me it away. Alright, wait, wait, I'm not supposed to pull myself off. Oh, and the hook broke, that's OP. Good stun. <gasps> I got him! You'll eventually get to the point where you're enjoying yourself so much you decide, why not put a little extra money into it? It starts off simple, you might buy a character, but before you know it, you'll have every single DLC owned. And don't even get me started on cosmetics. Okay, I just bought an outfit. I think that means I'm actually good now. Uh, I gotta wear it. Alright, gotta put on my three best charms. Alright, I did it. I'm gonna be good at this game, just wait. I'm going to try as hard as I- I'm going to be the sweatiest fucking tryhard in this server. I'm going to kill you. Eventually, you're gonna meet a survivor in-game who outperforms you significantly. They're gonna know how to dodge the killer for long periods of time, know when it's best to go for a save, push out generators effectively, and you're gonna wanna be like that. You'll find yourself ignoring the design of each map and character, as well as pushing through the fear anytime you feel it, just so you can get that competitive edge. Whether you watch a stream, look up a video, or try to ask one of your friends who know more, you're gonna try really hard to be as good as possible. Maybe you'll try a little bit too hard. Now that I got this elite skin, I, I've been watching I've been watching a lot of new three, a lot of you sillies. Uh Aaron. I think I- I think I'm good now. <gasps> I just got a great skill check. It's already working. Do the gens get out, do the gens get out, do the gens get out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, alright. I think I should've just done more gens. I think that was the answer. I think he celery said doing gens is like the most efficient thing. This guy gets it over here. He's doing it right. He should keep doing generators. Yeah, he should stay on that generator. Good job, man. All right, all right, all right. So if I remember these celeries correctly, I never, ever, ever throw generator. I never throw pallets, like ever, ever, ever. Like never, ever, ever do I throw pallets. Come on, dude, I'm the best. I'm tryhard gamer. getting really pissed off. No matter how many times you play, you're running against killers that tunnel you or camp or use mores or your teammates are leaving you on the ground and it's not fair. Game isn't fair. Even when you do well, people are being really rude to you over chat and it's pissing you off. Game stopped being enjoyable, fear has been replaced with frustration, and after going against one too many toxic players, you're gonna realize that it's much easier to be the bad guy. Oh, I hate this map. Dude, what are you doing? How do you miss a skill check ever? 
Oh my god, that's so unfair, dude. Look how far he can lunge. How is that balanced at all? I didn't fucking hit him, dude. Are you fucking serious? Dude, it's not- Did you leave me on the ground? I have to sit on the ground? Oh, suck my dick, you fucking loser. Alright, I'm done. I quit. The toxicity of our city, of our city. You finally given in and become the toxic person that you never wanted to be. Your teabagging killer is at every single loop, taking the most OP stuff every single game, and even when the killer plays fair, you're still gonna make sure to tell them to kill themselves after this game. That killer did not just kill you, he camped you, he tunneled you, he used too strong of a character, he used a Mori so he could kill you after only hooking you once. Your teammates didn't save you quickly enough, your teammates didn't do the gens quick enough. If you DC before he can hook you the third time, that's not a death either. Do the gens get out, make the other side feel as terrible as possible, because when they're feeling bad, you don't feel bad, and that's what you need right now. I'm, I'm done being nice, dude. I'm sick of it. Killers are trash, they deserve no respect. Yeah, 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 tea bag. Yeah, 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 you like that? You like that? You like that? That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, guess what? DS unbreakable. You can't touch me. DS unbreakable. You can't fucking touch me. Get shit on, loser. Kill yourself. You're trash, bro. You are trash. Don't forget it. You are literally garbage. You're never gonna be better than me at this game. You just don't care anymore. It's always the same killers with the same builds, the same teammates who aren't good enough. You're just dying, you're not even enjoying yourself anymore. When you actually manage to escape, you don't feel anything. And when you die one time, you want to sit on a toilet and piss into your face. It's just you being angry all the time and you're sick of it. You'll begin to reach a point where you'll think you want to play the game, but when you actually go home and are able to play, you'll end up playing something different. You'll just keep putting it off. You'll get anxiety at the thought of playing. You'll queue up once or twice and then just stop. A lot of players quit when they reach this point and never really get past it. Yep, that sounds about right. And I still love how people say killers are somehow weaker than survivors. Camping, tunneling, no ed, rune, undying, nurse, spirit. Yeah, okay, sure, buddy. Fuck this. Most players usually quit before this point, but if you stick with the game and try to clear your mental and be more positive overall, you'll realize that it's not really worth getting angry over. The game was never supposed to be competitive. Honestly, the game's pretty balanced for what it is. Both sides have really OP things they can bring to instantly win the game, pretty much. And sometimes the odds will be so stacked against you, you have no chance right from when you spawn in. But that's okay. You don't need to escape every single time and you're starting to realize that. You'll still get frustrated from time to time, but you're able to get over it pretty quickly and you'll notice you'll start playing the game more often too. Once you realize you're playing a casual game and you shouldn't take it too seriously, you'll stop getting so mad at it. And you'll start getting good. You really start to understand how the game works. 
Without the rage constantly sitting in the back of your head, you're able to truly start to understand and grow as a player. And even games that you thought were unwinnable will sometimes, in fact, be very winnable. Yes, the killer in theory you're going against has no real counter, but there are always things you can do to at least make it harder on said killer when it comes to them killing you. Even if it's impossible for you to last in a chase for an infinite amount of time, you can extend it just enough to give your teammates a chance to do something. Not only will your skills begin to increase rapidly like when you first started playing, but you're gonna want to play more and you're gonna start having a good time again. All right, we got him to beta swing. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Ah, he got me that time though. Not bad. Holy crap! I ran into him. This pallet's gone. Uh oh. Yeah, there's no point in pressing dead hard there. Listen. I'm gonna go to him. You get hatch. Ooh, that was a good shot. I think I'm actually super dead here. Dude, you like that dead hard though? Ah, uh, well played, well played. You've finally done it. You're actually really insane at the game. You'll still struggle against the best of killers, but otherwise, you're usually looping them for minutes on end. You'll really start to have fun pushing the game to the limit and figuring out everything that you can and can't do. And even though you might not feel the same amount of joy you felt when you first started playing, having a complete mastery over a game, even one that isn't that difficult, still feels rewarding in itself. At times you might regret the hours you put into the game and the time you spent, but it's worth it because you can finally say, for once in your entire life, that you're fucking insane at something, and you'd never give up that feeling for anything.